Oh, hello. Did you know that electronic devices, including cell phones, computers, gaming systems, outnumber the people living on this planet? And inside each electronic device is a small circuit board that allows electrical signals to travel from one location to another, similar to the way a network of roads allows us to get wherever we need to go. These circuits are created through a process called photolithography. Essentially, a plastic sheet is coated with a chemical called a photoresist and then exposed to light through a mask. The sections of the photoresist unexposed to the light can be removed using corrosive chemicals leaving the desired circuit design. Unfortunately, many of the chemicals currently used to remove photoresists are toxic or carcinogenic and are known to cause significant groundwater and air pollution. My name is Jordan Mathiason and I'm a biochemistry major at Simmons College of Boston, Massachusetts. My research focuses on creating and implementing a chemical photoresist that does not require toxic chemicals to remove it from the plastic sheet, therefore helping to create a greener method of creating the circuit boards that have come to play such an important role in our everyday lives. The chemical that I researched is called a polymer. A polymer is basically a fancy way of describing a molecule that is made up of several repeating smaller molecules called monomers. You can think of the monomers as the links that are strung together to form a chain that is the polymer. By linking two different kinds of monomers, we can get a polymer with physical and chemical properties of both of the monomers. I synthesized, then combined, one vinyl benzyl thymine, VBT monomer, with vinyl benzyl triethyl ammonium, VBA monomer, to create a VBT VBA copolymer. This polymer can be dissolved in water and applied to surfaces in liquid form. But when exposed to light, the different polymer strands will link together, forming a net-like structure on surfaces, causing it to stick. After portions of the coat have been exposed to the light, the areas that were left dark by the mask can then be washed away, not with harmful chemicals, but with water. These properties make this polymer useful for simplifying and greening the methods of photolithography currently used in the electronic industry worldwide. Chemistry is so exciting because it is constantly being used to improve everyday life, whether that's by making processes more efficient, quicker, or by creating new processes altogether. It's a collaborative experience requiring critical thinking and problem solving. So, the next time you pick up your phone, use a computer, or sit down with your friends to play a video game, just remember that none of those devices would function today if it were not for chemistry.